Hello everyone and welcome back to another plan with me video that we are doing in the classic vertical layout happy planner. We are just going to jump right into it. We are planning for the week of December 28th through January 3rd. This is the first time I'm using this planner which I'm excited about. Um, I'm actually going to get a new cover for this planner, which I'll show in another video. But for now, we're just going to decorate for the week of the 28th. And we are going to get our sticker book. And I'm using a weekly kit, which I don't do often, but I'm using a weekly kit from Shine Sticker Studio. And I'm excited about this one because it is a unicorn sticker book. So it has these cute unicorn pictures inside that are super cute. So we are just going to get started right away by putting down the date headers. I'm not going to cover up the numbers, I'm just going to cover up the days of the week. And I need my tweezers for this because these are a little bit small. So let's, I'm actually just going to take this page out because trying to do it from the sticker book is a little bit of a hassle. So let's do this. And I've used a Shine Sticker Studio kit before, so I know that the days of the week are the perfect width of the width of the rectangle. So that works out perfectly. This week includes New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, but this is not going to be a traditional New Year's holiday spread. So it's going to be brightly colored, unicorn heavy, and I think it's going to turn out very nice. One thing I do remember about the Shine Sticker Studio weekly kits, or not just their kits in particular, but weekly kits in general, they are tedious. They take a long time to put down because, well, for me they do, because when I use a kit, I like to do a no white space planning style and that requires lots of stickers and it requires a lot of time to put down. But I enjoy the process of putting down stickers so I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that if you decide to do a no white space style of planning with one of these kits, it will take you some time. And it actually takes longer than the time of the video because there are areas that I cut out um, of the video sometimes if, it, if I start to ramble or if it goes on too long, I kind of condense it. So um, yeah, let's see, what should we do next? We could, put down a header underneath. Let's see which ones we have. We have this blue stars, which is a possibility if we have a second one. Let's go to the beginning. So we have, oh we do, we have a second blue star, so that might be the one we use. We have this rainbow one. And we do have a second rainbow one. So it's between the blue stars and the rainbow. I think I prefer the blue stars. So let's do that. I'm going to line it up with this line right here and then just carry it all the way across the entire page and it just hangs off a tiny little bit. These weekly kits, I'm not sure what planner they are made for, 
but they fit the Happy Planner nicely. Not perfectly, but nicely. So we have that side. We're going to do the other side. Same thing. I'm going to start it at the line and carry it all the way through. And it does hang off just a tiny little bit on this side too. But we just cut it off, no big deal. That looks cute so far. I wish I had something to cover up the numbers with also to make it rainbowy, to make it match. That would be awesome, but I don't. We're gonna put down the weekend banner. On Saturday and Sunday. Like that. That looks cute. Then we're going to go for the full boxes. I'm thinking of doing a full box Monday through Friday at the top. Then do checklists. Then do, oh, I forgot about the bottom washi. The bottom washi is also super cute. The sparkly silver and rainbow. We're gonna use this one with the unicorn on the left-hand side on the left-hand page because that just makes sense to me. We're gonna start it at the line and then we're going to actually hang it over so that it covers all the way to the bottom edge of the page. So we're gonna do it like this. And it fits almost perfectly. It hangs off just a little bit. And I'm realizing this is a little bit crooked. Let's see. Eh. I remember these being not easy to take up. Yeah, that's not coming up. It's a little bit crooked, so it hangs off the smidge at the bottom. I'm going to cut it just so that it's even because I don't want the sticker to get snagged on anything. And that was my own fault because I put it on crooked. And then we're gonna take the other one and put it along the other side, doing the same thing. And then we're just gonna cut off this edge. so far and we haven't even put down the cute little boxes yet this one says celebrate today we're going to use this on New Year's Day this one is cute it says will work for stickers that is so me so we're gonna put this down on Friday like that. We'll work for stickers. We will use this one on Monday. Then have a magical day. I'll use this one on New Year's Eve. Shine bright little star. We will use this one on Wednesday. A 
And then this one that says num num. And <laughs> the unicorn is eating pizza. That's cute. We'll use this one on Tuesday. I should have used this one on Friday also. Because we usually have pizza on Fridays. But that's okay. Maybe this is an excuse to have pizza on Tuesday this week. And so we have that. I like the way this is looking so far. Cute. Let's work on the sidebar. On the sidebar, I want to use this one, the Monday through Sunday checklist, or not checklist, um, tracker. I'm not sure where to center this one. I wonder, I wonder how this will fit down here. Then I could put it right here. Let's hope it goes all the way down to the bottom. Almost, almost got to the bottom. I think that looks okay though. We can leave it like that. That looks cute. I'm so excited about this kit, you guys. Okay, so let's continue with the sidebar. We have trackers. Let's put this one right underneath. No, let's not put it right underneath because it matches too perfectly. I want it to be a little bit, I want it to be clear that it's different than what's above it. So let's use the blue one and then the rainbow one. Looking good so far, looking good. And then that's all I see specifically for the sidebar right now. So we're going to go on to the rest of the boxes. Let's just see what fits. Under here, I could do This header and then this half box checklist let's do this they have one, two, all I see is two food trackers, that's interesting, but they do have, so the two food trackers we could use on the weekend, let's do that. I'll use that to plan out dinner. And then we have stay hydrated. Let's use these on the rest of the days, Monday through Friday. Um, here. 
Then we have yellow and pink. Okay, we have those. If I put a full box underneath, I will have room for a full box and then maybe another half box. Let's try that and see if it fits. And then I will go for this one, the one with all the unicorns on it. I have a little bit of extra space, but that's okay. I'm not gonna try to fill it up because it's just a tiny, tiny bit. That looks awesome. Instead of flipping back and forth, I'm just gonna take all these pages out and look at them that way. That will be easier for me. Oh, we did have, see this is why flipping back and forth is uh, a little too complicated. We do have two other Stay Hydrated stickers I could have used. Oh well. I'm just gonna lay these all out in front of me. You won't be able to see them on camera, but they will be laid out in front of me so I could see them all at the same time. Because flipping through it, I forget which ones are available and which ones are not. So this one I'm pretty much done with because I'm not... I could use the scalloped edge over the blue. No, that would be a little too much. Yeah, that one is done. I'm not going to use those right now. So then we just have these and this one. Okay. That means I'm going to use this box. Right. Oh no, this is yellow and this is yellow. I can't do that. I'll put it under this one. In the weekly kits like this, I like the colors to be all over the place. I don't like it to match perfectly with what's underneath it. So, and I will use this girl again. This is the same girl, just a different shade of skin. We're going to use her on Thursday. Like that. We have this pretty box, silver outlined with yellow stripes. We we'll use that one there. And we can use a header. Let's use this purple header. with the rainbow checklist. Then I have room for maybe a full box. Yeah, I have room for a full box if I want to use that. And we do have this one. I'm not, I don't really love this sticker. But let's see, I could use it, if I put it here, I have room for, I can't put it there. I have a to-do list. What else do I need for Tuesday? I, I am going to use this one. It's not my favorite sticker, but I am going to use it. I just don't know where. I might use it here or I might use it on the weekend. So we'll put it back for now. 
then I could do two half boxes then. Let's do that. Let's do this one. No, that's a rainbow against another rainbow. Let's use it here. And then I have room for will one of these fit? Yeah, one of these will fit. And then I'll have a little bit of extra space. Or one of these half boxes with a header. Let's see. then I could use the pink. Oh, but then that's pink against the pink stay hydrated. I don't think I have other options, so let's do that. Let's put this pink here. And I do have a little bit of white space at the bottom, but again, that's okay because it's really minor. That's New Year's Day. I left a lot of room to write. I don't know what I'm gonna be writing on New Year's Day. No one's gonna be making plans. So we'll see if I have something to fill this up with. If not, I'll just write like inspirational quotes or something to fill in that space. Let's use this one. Right here. And I'm not sure what to put underneath it. I could put a little checklist. We have these short checklists. I could put that and then try to squeeze in this box. How about we do this? Let's put this important. Then let's put this checklist and call it a day. So those are done. I think I am going to put this one here. Like that. We have space for a checklist but then I would have to white, white out this line. And it would still be noticeable. Let's see. Let's use this remember. And we can put the rainbow checklist underneath. And it looks like that. You can still notice that line there, which is gonna throw me off a little bit. But that's the best I can do for now, so let's leave it. Then we have the weekend. Let's use this one that says, I have a plan. Let's try to line it up straight like that. Let's use this pink one for Sunday. Let's use this starry, purple starry one there. Let's use this blue one here. And 
then I have room for a full box. A full box and let's see if I do that one there. Let's do this. Let's put a full box down. I'll line it up with the bottom of here so that there will still be white space. Wait, let's see. Let's put it all the way at the bottom and see how that works. Let's see if it works. And then one of these scalloped edges. Nope, I should have moved it up. Yep. That's not coming up. So, to cover that, I'm just going to put this Don't Forget sticker. We're going to use this pink and silver right there. I'm going to white out this line because I'm not sure if I will find a sticker to cover it. Actually, I will. I'll use this purple. And then I have room for a quarter box in between. Let's see if the checklist will fit. It will not. Let's see if the scallop will fit. It's purple against purple, but I think that will be okay. And then we have to do the sidebar. So we have those. Let's use this one. I could do a top three for the week. Top three priority items. Then I don't really know what else. I could try to squeeze in a full box, but it would be a little bit too big. Yeah, that would be too big. Let's put one of these down. And see how much room we have left. I think one of these will fit. It will overlap. A little bit. But that is probably the best we're going to get. So let's use the pink one. Like that. And let's put all of this away and put this back in our planner. Take one final look. Let's see if it I can get it all in frame. This is what it looks like in the end, and I have to say, I love it. It is so sparkly, so many unicorns, so bright and colorful. It is so fun. And it's not a traditional New Year's holiday spread, but I did note the New Year 
with a couple of stickers and I think I think this looks so nice. I'm so excited to use it to write down my plans for this week. Um, just to reiterate, this is a weekly sticker kit by Shine Stickers Studio that I got at Michael's and I love this. I'm so happy that I got it. I'm so happy with the way that the stickers fit into the Happy Planner um, the rectangles. And yeah, I really, really am in love with this spread. I really am. And I hope you like it too. And I hope you like this video, but that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.